Hey everybody and welcome back to another uh, episode, another session of uh, drawing. Uh, my name is Spencer Brinkerhoff III and we are recording this episode live from Studios B3. So if there are mistakes, they're just going to happen. Sorry about that. So I am Spencer Brinkerhoff III and you can follow me online at Spencer B3. If you have a good time drawing today with us, go ahead and uh, tag your drawings and share them online with the hashtag drawing is simple. That's what we're doing today. So I've been sharing some of the different drawing techniques that I utilize from characters in my um, book. It's called You Can Draw Comic Book Characters. It's from Quarto Books, otherwise uh, also known as uh, Walter Foster Jr. So in the first drawings that we did, we drew this type of a character. Now this is Captain Jinx Haggett. Um, in this drawing, in this pose, I call this a phase one drawing. She's very flat, straight on, not lots of symmetry, so that we can make sure that it's very simple and easy to draw. Now, once we have this down, the other thing we did is we brought in our sphere. And once we knew how to rotate this around to curve those lines and make different angles and add that dimensionality to our drawing, we ended up drawing Jinx in a new pose that was more like this. Now there's a section in the book that I really enjoy and it's called Make It Your Own. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this character and we're going to make it into our own character. But because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, I'm actually going to turn the character into the Mandalorian from the new Star Wars TV show. Also, before we go any further, uh, if you want to check out cordokids.com or at cordokids, you can grab this flyer and you can get all of the steps to draw the characters that we've done in our video. So let's go ahead and jump into our other screen so we can get to drawing. So up here right above me in the make it your own section, we can see that pose of Captain Jinx Taggett. This is a phase two pose, lots of dimensionality to it. And then if we flip over, there it is, the same pose, but this time around, we're going to draw the Mandalorian. So, the first thing to do is just grab my pencil. I'm going to use my drawing coin again, get everything lined up here, rotate that. And our first step is, as always, to turn our coin, put it at a little bit of an angle to match what we've got going on in our instructions above. And I'm going to trace right around this. Now, the other thing to remember with this is we are doing a make it your own character. So I'm not going to follow the steps exactly 100% because after I get the basics drawn in, I'm going to modify it and of course make it my own. So after drawing the circle, I'll very lightly draw some guidelines in there so I can see where our center line is. I'll also be able to see our eye line, the eyes line up right there in the middle. Our Mandalorian character just has a visor, so we're not even gonna actually draw any eyes in there at all. We're gonna take our coin, place it right back in here, and instead of putting it right in alignment with the bottom of that, we're gonna go ahead and overlap it, and by overlapping it, our body will kind of crunch up a little bit because the character is bending over. We'll make our guidelines for the halfway mark, which is our, going to be our waistline. And then those three dots across the bottom. And we'll move in right along. Just like last time, drawing our character's torso right around in here, something like this. I'm looking back and forth at my guides. I know I'm going to erase this, so I'm drawing very lightly. And we'll come around this curve and point that toe down like this. Again, I'm going to draw over this, so I'm just sketching it in right now to make it nice and loose. Draw those characters in there, get some arms in place, circle for the hands, and then connect. And this, this will finish up our steps that will make it so that we have the basics of our character already drawn, right? As you can see, not quite exact as the uh, as the original drawing there. That's okay. We're going to make it our own. 
Now we're going to get into drawing the details for the Mandalorian character. So instead of drawing the eyes in there, we'll start over here on the left hand side. We're going to go right above there and draw a little box. And the Mandalorian has a, uh, a like these ear, like earphone kind of a things. And then the visor, it works right along this eye line, but we're going to come in slightly along that line, draw all the way across and then down and it's about halfway between these two lines and then we're going to pull down to connect to this bottom of the eye line down to about here and do that on both sides and then down at an angle like that all running those lines in parallel to the middle line so the other thing about the helmet is that there is a little ridge across the top there with a band. So we'll draw that in there and then come down from the ear and follow along the bottom of the, of the circle line. And then we're going to trim in just a little bit on this side for the, some dimensionality there. And then we'll add in the rest of those details, starting with this angle on top, that center line for uh, the little mohawk type of a shape and we'll put a knob on top to give that feeling that it's popping up a little bit go ahead and trace a little bit of thicker outline for the top to clean all of that up and then there's this fun little jaw line detail that we'll go ahead and start here at the earpiece and come in and then do the same off the other side. And that, in essence, has our, our helmet all drawn. I might take and clean up this line a little bit there just to get it a little smoother. The next bit of, bit of detail that we're going to add is we're going to work on all of the belts and, and other things. Uh, let me show you this really quick, too. Um, when I was first putting this character together, um, I just put my coin down on the paper and I, I sketched out like this so I can get my sizing chart, you know, and then I drew here, marked around that one, drew here. So I know that I'm going to be drawing the belt, draw his uh, bandolier, and all of these details will go into the rest of the character. And eventually we'll draw uh, baby Yoda as well. So we'll start with this belt and we'll come right in here, make that line a little bit darker and then come here to create that waistline. And then starting from the corner of that belt line, we're going to come up to his helmet and that's going to tuck right up in underneath the visor. And then it really follows his torso there too. He's got these cool little like uh, bandolier, no, on the bandolier he's got some sort of like cylinder and they look like they could be energy or or uh, ammunition or something so we'll draw one two three four lines there and then draw some notches for his belt buckle in there and his uh, armor on his chest plate because he's small and because there's a lot of stuff going on there we can't draw a whole all, every single bit of that detail so we'll draw the chest piece in there and then this bottom part that goes underneath the bandolier this arm comes up and over and then he's got a shoulder pad and his gauntlet it's like that right we're going to draw a little like frowny face type of a shape there and draw a, a circle for a knuckle and then his thumb and then that gives us the basic shape of the hand and then we'll do the same on the other side with the gauntlet and then we're going to make him holding a pistol and so what we'll do here is I, I kind of like remember the basic shapes right so um, this is going to be like the letter E so I'm going to draw here and it comes like this see how it made the letter E just like that and we'll put a little hook on there and that makes his thumb shape We'll advance to our next set of instruction to get the rest of it. He's got a little bit of like a hip guard there. And then his, uh, he's got a lot of other details on his boots, but we're not going to do all of the details because that wouldn't be drawing as simple. That would be, you know, fairly complicated. 
We're going to draw a slight loop here on the side and then a box for his pistol. Now, I went through this one a little bit quicker than I have with some of the other drawings because we've already covered the basics of this character's shape. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to ink it and then add some little bit... Oh, I forgot his cape. So one of the things that adds motion and, and dynamics to this drawing is, is looking at the curve. So we're curving this way and then we have this cape coming back this way. So we'll start somewhere over here and we'll go up and then we'll bring it down into the box for his ear and then a little bit of curve to the bottom and bring it down into his shoulder like this. And that gives a little bit of a flap to that, uh, to his cape, and then it circles through here. And I lift up my pencil as I go over his hand and then keep on connecting it. So that way I get the same flow, but I didn't actually draw right over his, uh, his hand. Now, the next thing we do is we'll go ahead and ink our character a little bit and add uh, that thick outline. So what the outline ends up doing is it helps to create a little bit of um, dimensions. So you can see where you know the helmet should be standing out from the rest of the, uh, the body a little bit more. And I'm gonna hit this very lightly with my pencil eraser so I can still see my lines. <sighs> How does that sound when I blow in the microphone like that? <laughs> so I, moved, I think I moved the uh, camera. <laughs> it's a very delicate camera setup. So I'm going to take my number five micron pen and we'll start just by uh, tracing around our character shape to get those nice ink lines in. And if you don't have a, a, a pen like this, you could be using a Sharpie, you could be using just your pencil again. Oh, look at that, I messed up. That's okay, I'm gonna come back in with uh, the, the thicker pen and I'll make it uh, a little bit stronger. I'll rotate my drawing so it's easier to pull that line instead of pushing it. I'll do it again here. We'll pull that line across and the bottom of his helmet. So if you don't have the micron pens, you can be outlining this again with a, a pencil. You can use a colored pencil. You can start filling in the shapes that way. Um, I just like to give it that nice, solid, finished kind of a feel. The other thing that's fun about this section is that all of the poses in the book, all of the different characters that you learn how to draw, you can take those character poses and turn it into another character. And I've got something that I want to show you with in regards to that as well. So I started in with my drawing and my love of drawing and artwork because of uh, Disney cartoons. I love the animation. I, uh, I told everybody that I wanted to, uh, wanted to draw and work for Disney. Um, always been a dream of mine. I think it still is a dream of mine, but I don't think that at this point in my life um, that I can start a new career as an animator at the very bottom of the animation food chain and be able to uh, support my my family, <laughs> and that, that's important. But I'd love to work in animation, and I think that someday uh, some of these characters might have a little bit of a following or attraction, and uh, we can end up making our own animated characters or animated show. So with animation, what you're doing is you're actually drawing multiple, multiple illustrations. And then as you're drawing all of those illustrations, they're going to slightly change from one drawing to another. Well, every single pose that's in the book, if you take and 
redraw those characters into your own characters, do you know what you end up with? An animation. So I thought it would be fun and uh, I've got, uh, see how I just filled that in over there? I've got a tablet over here that I use to draw uh, digitally. I'm going to pull that, that drawing tablet over and I'll show you what it could look like if you take and draw all of your own characters into a sequence and make your own animated characters. And that's the thing, is that in the book, you'll have examples of all of these poses as well as the steps to draw all of them. So if you were to be so ambitious as to actually draw the characters yourself and invent your own characters, you could potentially be animating them as well. So now with the character outlined, we can go ahead and add some colors to it just to finish that off you know I'm actually a little bit anxious instead of coloring it I think I would just want to show you the animation and how that works because I just got done explaining it so let me do this really quickly and the, it's gonna look a little bit jarring let me get this other monitor over here and then I'll pull this back and I've got to try and move around in here to maybe turn off this light. Where are we at? That's brighter and light off. Okay, ready? So what we're looking at now, I guess I should have tested this out ahead of time. Maybe I can lay this down flat. Oh, I've got my stylus. So I am uh, in a program called Flash. There's this terrible glare. Let me try and adjust some things here. All right. So this is the program Flash. And what I'm going to do is I'll pull out a little bit more here so you can see that up at the top, I have this timeline. And from here, we'll take and zoom into each one of our drawings. And if we step through these drawings, you can see the poses. So here is, oh, am I in flash? There we go. Screen is active. So there's the first pose that's in the book. This is just your static um, phase one drawing. And you go just like that, and he squats down. What happens after he squats? He can jump, and then he hovers, and this is the pose that we're drawing right now with, uh, with Jinx and the Mandalorian. And then there's an action pose, and then swinging, and he leaps through the air, he grabs onto the wall, drops down, and lands, and then right back up, and then wait, what's happening? Somebody's coming, he's alert, he attacks, he fights back, and then runs away. So all of these little sequences you can see it's just a series of drawings that I'm moving back and forth. Now watch this. I'm going to take this uh, top layer up here and I'm going to hide the layer that I'm currently working on and then unhide this one so you can see this whole like little sequence. So now what I've done is uh, I'm just going to hit play so you can see how all of these come together. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> it's so fun to me. Uh, so let, let's step through that again. So oh, some of the things I've done is as he's transitioned from the standing position into the squatting one, I stretched it out a little bit and then had him leap and jump up, rotate that a little bit in there, and then hovers and floats up and down as, they, as he's hovering and then transitions into this pose rotating the swinging vine, two-hand grab, leap, leap, grab onto the wall, a little bit of a flex there as a bounce and lands, and then 
drops down, squash. Now something that I did here um, is I took the drawing sequence and I went forward with the sequence and then I went uh, backwards with the sequence and then into a new pose. So he resets himself and then goes on into the running pose. Ready to see this again in play, playing? Uh, one more time. Here we go. <laughs> I really enjoy that. So here's the thing, and here's the point of this whole thing, is when you are drawing, and when you are working out all of these sequences yourself, you can end up drawing all of these characters and making the poses and making it into your own character. And once you do that, you can actually animate it as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this up uh, and maybe do a quick color on this one. I don't remember what colors I've got here. So I have my markers out and I grab a uh, scrap piece of paper here and I'm going to try this uh, periwinkle. See what that looks like. That's going to be the blue for his under armor. Well, his like little jump coat or flight suit that he's wearing. That'll be that color like that. Oh, and his gloves are that same color too, right? Not exactly the same colors that I've got on the screen, but quite honestly, there's a lot more uh, options when coloring uh, on the computer than uh, coloring <laughs> with the markers that you have in your, uh, in your bin. So I think that my next color, I will take this one, which is pewter. Pewter, I'm home. That's uh, like Lego Batman. So I'm going to give the metal all a quick overview of that. Now, one of the things that I didn't do that I probably should have right here, I'm going to leave the white highlight. I don't want to color that in, but I could have left some other highlights on the helmet. I've forgotten to do that. So we'll experiment with something else in just a minute and try that out and see how it works. So this will be the gauntlet color, the shields, He's got, you know, the uh, ammo on his bandolier, as well as uh, his buckle. Those will all get that pewter color. And then this one is a 40% gray, which we'll use as a highlight one. I think I'll get this darker color in here. Ooh, that might be too dark. Let's try the 40%. And we'll come in here and here, add a little accent. Not quite enough of an accent. So I'll use this as a shading color, hitting those shadow areas. Just like that. And we can actually use this on the blue as well. And then I will add this darker color in for the accent. That was dried up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you don't use your markers uh, frequently, they'll end up uh, drying out on you. Oh my goodness, look at how dark that looks on my monitor. It doesn't look that dark. Oh, because I turned the light off. Let me see if I can... Oh. That still looks dark. That's all right. So then I'm going to take my uh, dark umber color and I'll use that to draw his cape in. It's one of the things that you really have to pay attention to when you're drawing a character that has lots of dark colors is uh, that it can get really muddied. And I'm telling you that this color is not showing up as well on the screen as it does on in real life. Maybe I'll, I'll grab it really quick here and show you in this one. Maybe you can see it better there. A little bit. Anyway, so there it is. We're going to keep on drawing. 
we'll take and uh, have some fun as we uh, we learn to draw our own characters. Remember that you uh, get the basics down, you learn how to draw the characters, and then you can make it your own and have the characters be your very own characters in your animation. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Remember to uh, check out uh, at Cordo Kids to get your own copy of uh, the flyer with uh, Jinx, as well as uh, post your own drawings on uh, the uh, internet using the hashtag drawing is simple. You can see it, which way do I point? Right over there, underneath the, um, or do I point this way like this? There it is, right there. Drawing is simple. And with that, look forward to seeing you next time and we'll uh, keep on drawing together. Bye everybody, talk to you soon.